Okie doke. Well, I got my rad sort of zapped in. Well, upper bolt holes are in. I made a bracket up here. I tied it into the bottom. The bottom of the rad's not tied in yet. I have to figure out how to get these filler necks to match up. I had bought some of these elbows on AliExpress just for something like this, so I'm probably gonna somehow figure out how to scab this thing underneath the rad so I can have a, a simple hose, and then I'll just weld this shut. This upper hose should be okay. Be close enough, it'll work. There to there. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull it out and then somehow Jimmy rig something together here. Well, I impressed myself. I only dipped it once or twice. Yeah. But it's actually one of the, the nicer welds I've ever done. So you can, uh, normally now I should pressure test it, but I'm pretty confident in my weld, so you guys can mock me later if it leaks when I put it in the car. Um, I still have to trim this. This is too long. I gotta put it in the car just to test fit, because I think I gotta bring it down to about there. And then I'll make my own little flange. So this is gone. That's new. That's for my purge line. Yeah. Let's see how this fits. These are some pliers I made to do these flangey things. <laughs> I just welded some random junk on them. Works good on aluminum. It's not pretty, but the pipe shouldn't come off of that. Well, I grabbed from my hose pile. We'll see if uh, any of these will work. I like the bend on this one. Oh, that looks like that'll be a winner. And then I had this other one. I thought I grabbed a different one. It'll actually be all in that same hose, is what I'm thinking. All right, let me try to fit these and then I'll get back to you. Okay, well, these are the hoses I was talking about. So I got that one, it's all bent around. That's mint, just gotta get some clamps. Here's my purge line, or whatever they call that one. And then uh, my uppers. But my intake doesn't fit on now, so I gotta go get some fittings. I gotta space this out a bit and I'm gonna come around under the hose. I'm um, just working on the front now. I have to. Uh, Make a bracket to hold the fan in. I don't have anything. There's no room in the back, so I'm just going to turn this to a pusher. Uh, see how it goes. Oh, what are we? Tuesday? I totally forgot to get all the PCV piping. Uh, but I did score this fan. So that's a win. So I'm going to plumb that thing or I'm going to wire it yet. Waiting for my compressor to charge up and then I'm uh, cutting out my gauge cluster. <clears throat> I kind of gutted the old one, so I'm making a filler panel and I'll put all my gauges in there. That way I can bolt it back into the original spot.
Oh yeah, I got this cleaned up. I'm just going to dismantle this cluster. Not this much. I'm just going to pull these tabs and uh, sink this sucker underneath it. I'll probably paint it first. <clears throat> then I'm going to slip it under. Uh, this is a little cruddy. I'll just hit it with steel wool and just... It'll be what it is. Which is not very pretty. Maybe I'll paint it. Yeah, I'll just paint the whole thing. Sure. That's what I'll do. Because this is pretty crap. And then... Uh, yeah, slip my gauges in there. It's not fully dry, so I kind of jumped ahead of myself and started stabbing gauges in, but uh, I have to drill these a little larger to be able to get my my signal lights and blinkers and markers and all that jazz in, but I'll wait till it's fully dried, so I guess I'll put this off till tomorrow. I'll uh, finish that up. Although the uh, wire brush to the chrome, or the stainless, eh, didn't go too bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's pretty banged up. But it's still way better than uh, than it looked before, so I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, yeah. Okay, we are Wednesday. Gonna uh, drill these holes out and put my my uber bright blinkers and stuff in there. Okay, we got everything together. So this is my power for all my gauges. This is the my uh, dash lights. And then all the little stranglers there, that's uh, all my indicator lights. Uh, which one is this one? Oh, I totally forgot the ground one. Dang, damn it. Oh no, this one I gotta put power. Ah, I screwed up, this should have went in there. Okay, after I put this one in here, we'll have this all sorted out. And I'll be able to step. Okay, take two. Now, uh, the one wire I had forgotten to do was actually for my message indicator light because that one technically, the signal to make it blink on is actually just the ground. So, okay, so let's try this again. Well, that doesn't look too bad. And now I gotta pretty much pull it out and strip the dash, and clean it all apart. For now, I'll just leave it in there. But uh, yeah, I got a bunch of cleaning up to do and figure out how I'm gonna do this glove box. I think that's uh, 
That's about it for today. See you later.